Hi hey guys, SC Dawa has published another silly edition of Dawa trying to spread the Islam virus. This time they try somehow to get the Christian Jesus to match the Isa in the Quran, thinking they can elevate Islam by lowering the confidence of Christians into their own doctrine and simultaneously getting Islam closer to Christianity to make the transition from Christianity to Islam easier. I think that's what they're doing anyway. And the video is called hmm, Live Did Jesus Claim to Be the True God of Israel? It's a it's a quest statement, a statement with an exclamation mark worded as a question. I don't know, the, these philosophers managed to contradict themselves in the same sentence. Now, I, I must admit, I did not watch the entire video to not damage my brain too much. But um, here are some facts surrounding the character of Jesus. Now, just as the case for Moses and Muhammad, there's no evidence to suggest that these were real people, right? They were their characters in their respective books, and and we know with a hundred percent certainty that they did not live as described in their respective doctrines. How much was taken from real people and superimposed on a fictional character, and in what area and what era, we, we simply don't know. Now, in the Quran, we have a character called Isa, who gets special treatment and is different from all other prophets. His mother's name is Miriam, the only named female in the Quran, by the way. Now, she is described as being the daughter of Imran and the sister of Aaron, which would make Jesus the grandson of Imran and the nephew of Aaron and his brother Moses. Now, in addition, the Quran is adamant that their Isa was not crucified, was not resurrected, and played no role as human sacrifice, as scapegoat, as son of a god. So the Isa in the Quran and the Jesus in the New Testament are very different characters. Yet Muslims can't stop shouting, we love Jesus, mm. who is the son of a god, part of a triunity, and Thus, a partner of a god leading Muslims away from the concept of worshipping a single god figure. Now, in the video itself, we have uh, someone, Mansour, an Islam apologist, and someone we've seen who was not really the sharpest guy, taking off with a hypocritical statement saying they invite everybody to talk to them. Then we are going to invite everyone to join and in. We have seen in the past on well, on similar live streams that anyone whom they identify as being capable of challenging their silly claims will be censored by ejecting and blocking them. I'm, I mean, I'm not even allowed to comment on the live chat since I might corrupt their minds with honesty, facts and reality. And accordingly, they don't have a Christian like Christian Prince or Dr. David Ward or Dr. J. Smith, none of these people on the panel but a Jew explaining the Christian New Testament <laughs> because he's friendly towards Muslims, claiming that Jesus is mentioned in the Talmud. It's actually a commonly made claim which even Jewish scholars deny. Oh well. They continue the irritating switching people on the panel in and out and the constant putting anyone as saying hi in the chat as a highlight on the screen. It's annoying like hell. And after Listening for 15 minutes, I just jumped in 30 minute steps to speed things up, just to protect my brain a bit, because I found nothing different. It's mostly Muslims talking amongst themselves and occasional as a non-Muslim, but it's for three hours. And the result is predictable, where Christians and Muslims alike claim their respective doctrines are perfect and the others are not. <laughs> so only us non-believers can objectively say they are all flawed. I'm sorry, these some apologists again have nothing. There's no intelligent, convincing or coherent argument when it comes to anything in Islam. They fail miserably and are too scared to even talk about it and continue leading their lives following a highly immoral God and his messenger. That's it. See you next time soon. Bye for now.